my first Thermofax experience. I just got the Thermofax machine and opened the mesh. This is 70 weight mesh from Welsh Products and then peeling it. And this side is smooth and this side is rough. You can feel that. It says that when I'm not using it, I should wrap it in a paper and store it in my little black bag. I'm going to get the Thermofax video and um, I've never used it, so you get to be the first one to see me do it. So here's the one that I got. It is 3M Transparency Maker. I had no idea what this is about, so I had to get it from um, a company that I thought was somewhat reputable so that um, I have no idea how it does it open <laughs> Hang on. so plugged it in now what power cord must be connected properly grounded power cord is connected mm -hmm. now what no on switch no I don't think so do we just feed it through mm -hmm. okay so. let's try now we are going to run a test to see whether any or all of these pencils are useful in the Thermofax and I'm going to write a little note about the pencil and we're going to do them in this order so um, that's what we're looking at recording the order there we go this is very exciting I could tell with some of the pencils that they were very heavy on the carbon so it'd be pretty cool to see what this looks like okay great so here we are this is the image that we were working on making we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, different um, media, right? That's what it is. This is the shiny side. It's smooth. This is the rough side. It's not smooth. <laughs> okay, that's obvious. It's rough. And then we just uh, stick this in here. And we're going to move this off a bit so that there will be some room for the frame once we make it. And da -da -da -da. just trying to organize this thing here. Okay, I guess that looks okay. Right. Okay, then we just line this up here. And it doesn't even look like it's on, but you know, it's on. Line it up and push it in. Look, it's doing it! It's doing it! Pretty exciting stuff. Look how quick that is. So quick. And voila. Oh, it didn't stick. Did I have the right? It did it though, right? Yes, I can see. It did it. See this HB very clearly. And then we'll have to do it with some paint. Let's see. Exciting. All right. Cut. Okay, so we cut a frame out for the, we used an old piece of cardboard, and we are going to use duct tape to stick the uh, Thermofax screen onto the cardboard. Now, this is, is that correct? Is that the right direction? I think, uh, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah because we would face it this way down. Okay, I think so. Okay, so I'm using this old piece of cloth that we had. Tried out some things from the um, the silhouette cutter, and here we are. We're going to do our um, test of the pencil carbons, carbon pencils, on here also. I do want to thank the Speedball Company for having donated some um, paints to. Uh, not necessarily this particular exercise, but a while ago I did ask for some paints, and uh, they gladly helped us out. So here we go. We have it in orange. Alright, so the way the gals on the video did it, 
should I I should put down something underneath, right? Because of the light. Now I'll just clean it up after. And yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> and so we're just gonna lay some paint down. Just like that. I'm being stingy with the paint. Because I always am. That's my bane. My bane. Stingy with the paint. Yes I am. Yes I am. You speak French, I'm sorry. <laughs> it looks really good. Not bad for first time. Yeah, it's <laughs> right side up. There we go. Nice. Sometimes you just have to do something so that you are no longer afraid of it. And this was a lot easier than I thought it could be. And the results are so wonderful. So, I think we're good to go. So we just redid the uh, screen to uh, make sure that all of the this part hadn't been done before. So we added it on. And you can see where part of it came out, part of it didn't. So the ones that really worked well, the HB, the 2B, um, the number 4 HB, and the number 6 2B. And I'm not sure why the number 5 2B or number 7 4B, whatever. Hmm. This one didn't do as well as the number 6 2B, so we'll have to look at that. And I suspect that... Uh, let's see which pencils this are. Now here we are showing it with the light in the background so we can see which ones actually came out really well. And you can see the HB and the 2B are really strong.